This is a bittersweet day here at Action News. One of the true pillars of this news organization is retiring after 42 years on the job. We are, of course, talking about Vernon Odom. Vernon occupies a unique space in the history of Philadelphia television, though he will forever call his own. Let's look back at when it all began. Action News. It was the spring of 1976 when Vernon Odom joined the Action News team, quickly becoming a big voice covering the big story. This learning experience and trip back into history will continue. The list of major events he has covered is endless, including every presidential campaign starting from 1976, the Three Mile Island disaster, the MOVE confrontation, the Clarence Thomas confirmation hearings, the Clinton Lewinsky White House scandal and the O.J. Simpson trial. And that's just stateside. Internationally, Mr. Odom has reported from Latin America, Europe, Africa, most notably during the release of Nelson Mandela from prison and later the first free election in South Africa. He was there as the U.S. invaded Somalia, logged visits just prior to the fall of the Soviet Empire, and he was on the scene for the release of U.S. hostages from Beirut. Vernon is known for carefully crafting each and every report, whether he is standing on the scene of breaking news, two feet of blinding snow, or even a Super Bowl victory. We have come to count on Vernon to bring us the big story with a big, bold voice. That's the word, Lisa and Mark, uh, from right down here at 10th and Filbert in Center City. Over the years, Vernon has collected many awards and honors, and just this year, he was named Person of the Year by the Philadelphia Broadcast Pioneer. I could ask you how politics has changed. I could ask you how this business has changed. I am frankly more interested in how Vernon Odom has changed over 42 years and what you're experiencing on this day. Well, I got more gray hair, certainly, than when I arrived uh, 42 and a half years ago. You know, I have a, a lovely wife and two great children who have grown up here in Philadelphia, and as many people may not realize I'm not from here. I've been here so long, most people think I'm from here, but I came here at, uh, from Atlanta, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm deeply grateful to the way I've been treated here and, uh, and the way the viewers have accepted me. That's how I've changed. I've grown up and matured, you know, and uh, in many ways as a journalist and uh, in every ma imaginable way. Politics for one minute. Sure. Um, Behind your back, we call you the Oracle of Odom, you know that, <laughs> because you have never been bashful about your ability to peer into the future and predict sports events and, and of course, political events. I think I'm betting about 850, aren't I? I'm sure you are. I'm sure you That'll are. That'll get you in the hole <laughs> somewhere. So, so um, who's going to be the Democratic nominee for president in 2020, and who will win the presidential election? Donald Trump or said Democratic nominee? Depends on who the Democratic nominee and what, what happens with the Mueller investigation. It's obviously... Uh, I'm asking for a name, Brennan. For a Democrat? There are, 20, there are uh, 25 running, at least at last count, and I can't give you one now. It's too early. Somebody will emerge. It may not be one of the big names. Uh, most people had not heard of Bill Clinton or Barack Obama when the process began. Since so, when is he so bashful about that? No, I, 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 can't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just don't know who's coming out of that. That's a big, uh, it's a big horse race, and uh, it's too early to tell. I wish I did know. I'd go to the betting window, but I don't know right now. Donald Trump, he's got enormous, obviously, political problems and things like that, and uh, I think there's much more to come out that uh, could debilitate him as a candidate in 2020. 42 years, Vernon Odom, you have given us your journalism, you have given us your wisdom. We are all smarter for it. When I say Thank we, you. when I say we, time. Vernon, I mean everybody whom you have touched at Channel 6 over more than four decades and a few million people who have mm -hmm. seen your reports over the years. We wish you nothing but wonderful times ahead with uh, Wanda, with Corinne, with Lane, and I want you to tell Wanda that if she ever needs a break from a fully retired Vernon Odom, Amy and I would be delighted to take her out for dinner at, at any time. I thought you were going to babysit me or take, <laughs> take me to the 
take me to the zoo or something. Hey, man, it's been wonderful, buddy. Every, we love you. We love you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your saying so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, a, it's been wonderful. So our look back at Vernon Odom's remarkable career with Action News continues on 6ABC.com. See, even under these circumstances, Vern, we got to give a plug for social media. There you can find his coverage of the big stories on our special tribute page and we urge you to share your memories of Vernon Odom on social media using the hashtag 6ABC Action.